All right, this is the Ohio pre-trip for 160 Driving Academy. And we're gonna do the in cab and out cab. And we will start with the inside and we were gonna do our uh, air leak test first. By doing that, you have to go to the auxiliary, push in both buttons. It can be in neutral or driver, don't matter. If you're on an incline, you probably wanna be in drive so it don't roll. All right, so the first three parts of this are gonna be, I wanna put my foot on the brake pedal. I should lose no more than four PSI in a minute. You will then ask the examiner to time you. They will. Do not take your foot off the brake until they tell you to continue. They told me to continue, take it off. That's the first part. Second part is I will start my fan down and at or before 60 PSI, my warning and or buzzer light should come on. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to focus in here. So you can see. There goes the one. And the other one should follow, and it did right there. All right, that's the second part of the leak down. The third and final part is we will continue our fan down, and in between 20 and 40 psi, both of our buttons should pop out. Don't touch the buttons because you could accidentally make one pop out. Just point to them. Here we go with the final part. Fixated on both buttons. There goes one. Keep going till the other one comes out. And there it goes. That completes your uh, air leak test. You're going to want to hit the horn to indicate that you are finished with that part. Once you're done with that, you will proceed with the rest of your in cab. Now, I recommend going right to your safe start from this point because you will finish the in cab with a tug test. And you're going to want to have some uh, air in your system to do that. So let's go right to our safe start and safe start. You will describe foot on the brake, truck in neutral, brakes obviously engaged. Let's go to the off position first, back that to the on. Our ABS light should come on and go off, and it did. Now we will continue with our safe start. Safe start is at this point. You want your air pressure gauges to rise. Put your foot on the accelerator a little bit. Don't gun it. You won't be able to hear it, but it'll get that to move up a little faster. Now we'll start the end cap. I'll start with my seatbelt, which is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, not worn, torn, or frayed. It fully extends and retracts. Buckles and unbuckles. Put it back. My side mirrors, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, adjusted to my view. My windshield, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, free of any illegal stickers. Now my hands are right here. We're gonna start hitting all the stuff that we need to hit right here. Go right here to my windshield wipers. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken, making Flush contact with the window, not worn, torn, or frayed. And windshield wiper fluid should work. This one might be out. Push in the button, it would work. All right, cool. Turn them off. My hand is already right here on the indicator. We're gonna go left indicator, right indicator, high beams, four ways. Goes off. City horn, air horn. Now we'll get to our gauges. My oil pressure gauge should rise to its proper operating level. My water temperature gauge should rise to around 190. My DEF is three quarters of the way full and there's enough fuel in the truck to complete the test. My secondary, primary and secondary air gauges should rise to 120 to 125 PSI. And on this particular model, your voltmeter is gonna be in your uh, LED and you will find it over here, up and down go to it and that should be between 12 and 15 volts all right so basically we've covered all the stuff we need to cover we're going to hit our, our defrost turn it to defrost check it that's working properly floor heat is working properly and we will end with our tug test and while we got before we got to that point we built up pretty decent pressure we're right below 100 right now i'm going to give it a little bit more it's only going to take a few seconds just to ensure that buzzer don't go off when we're doing this uh Tug test. Once I get to around 100, I should be good. All right, we're good. All right, now we're going to proceed and end with the tug test. I'm going to test the trailer brake by pushing in the parking brake. Push 
tuned in, or foot on the brake, go to drive, and register drive. So that's great, you should feel a slight tug. There it is, there's your slight tug. Pull this one out. Now we're gonna test the parking brake by pushing in the treader brake, same thing. These automatics, you gotta go back to neutral and then drive to safety measure. Good one. Same thing, you should feel a slight tug. There it is, there's our slight tug. Now we're gonna end it with pushing both of them in. Move ahead three to five feet. Shouldn't feel a pull to the left or the right to indicate a problem in the suspension or a flat tire. Loose, loose grip on the wheel. Hit the brake. Great, nothing happened. Awesome, done, that completes your end cap. At this point, set your brakes. Ask the examiner what they would like you to do with the key. They'll probably tell you to turn it off, and that's fine. I would at that point turn my lights on so when we get to the outside they're illuminated hard to miss if they're illuminated all right and that completes the end cap start at the top we're going to work top to bottom in and out through this whole outside process so the clearance lights securely mounted not cracked or broken and of the proper color our headlights securely mounted not cracked or broken not fog the lights and plates securely mounted not cracked or broken legible it's not hanging Truck is not leaning to the left or the right, indicating a problem with suspension or flat tire. And we have no puddles underneath. So we'll open up the hood and we'll start on the passenger side. All right. Usually just two parts on this side. If you notice right here, this is our exhaust. It runs to the back over here. You hit it from either place. There goes our exhaust and that is securely mounted not cracked or broken not leaking and no black soot to indicate a leak that's the one item another item is going to be our alternator our alternator is securely mounted not cracked or broken belt driven no more than three quarters of an inch of play in the belt and before you leave the side all my wires and hoses are securely mounted not cracked or broken not worn torn or frayed and not leaking that covers this side of the truck. Now we'll move around to the other side. And I have a little system that I use. It makes it easier to remember and for studying purposes. It's a 2474 system, and I'll explain it as I go. And I grouped it into four separate parts. So, two pieces. First piece is our cooling reservoir. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken, not leaking, filled to its proper level, and the cap is on tight. That's one. Here's number two. Water pump, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, not leaking, belt driven, no more than three quarters of an inch of play in the belt. And they kind of go together because the coolant runs through the water pump. So one and two, there's your two. All right, here comes your four. Power steering reservoir, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, not leaking, filled to its proper level, and the cap is on tight. Dipstick, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, not leaking. And this is where I would pull this out, wipe it off with the truck off, check it to make sure it's between add and full back here you're not going to be able to see it but it's underneath somewhere and it's your air compressor securely mounted not cracked or broken it's gear driven it's also not leaking usually right next to it or underneath it is going to be your power steering pump securely mounted not cracked or broken also gear driven also not leaking so that's your four so let's go back a little bit so two cooling reservoir water pump four power steering reservoir dipstick air compressor and power steering pump that's four so two four now we're going to go into the seven it's our steering system and there's seven parts to it that's why i labeled a seven and it also looks like an upside down backward seven so that's helpful so we'll start at the beginning steering shafts securely mounted not cracked or broken no more than 10 degrees of play gearbox securely mounted not cracked or broke not leaky all right pitman arm drag link and tie rod are all securely mounted not cracked or broke and fastened together by our castle nut and cotter pins now i'll count the seven parts off to you so you can see that that's why we labeled it a seven steering shaft one gearbox two pitman arm three drag link four tie rod five castle nut and cotter pins six and seven so that's our seven so let's go back again two four seven we're going to end with a four and at the end of that four is going to bring us right where we want to be which is our brake system to our brake hose 
So our last part of our puzzle is the floor and it's our suspension system. Spring mounts, front and back, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Leaf springs, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not shifted. U-bolt, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Shock absorber mounts, top and bottom, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Shock absorber, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not leaking. And if you remember, I just said it's gonna bring us right where we wanna be at is our brake system. Shock absorber right on into the brake system. So we got our two, four, seven, four, and brings us right here. We're working our way right on out this engine to get to our tires. So now we're on to our brake system. Our brake system, brake holes, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not worn, torn or frayed, not leaking. Brake chamber, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not leaking. Slack adjuster and push rods, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, no more than an inch of play when the wheels are chalked and the brakes are released. Now right behind the tire, we're gonna find our brake drum and linings. Both are securely mounted, not cracked or broke, no excessive wear on our linings and free of grease and oil. That completes our brake system, brings us right to the top of our tire. And this is a steer tire. It's evenly worn and no less than 430 seconds of tread wear in all major grooves. Our sidewall, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Our rims, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, no illegal welds. All our lug nuts are present, they're securely mounted, not cracked or broken, no rust trails or shiny metals that indicate a loose lug nut. Hub seal, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not leaking. And finish with our valve stem, which is securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not leaking. And this is where I would use a tire gauge to check the tire pressure to manufacture specification. Before you leave this side of the engine, do the same thing. It's going to cover your tire steering reservoir holes and any other hoses and wires. So all my hoses and wires are securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not worn, torn, or frayed, not leaking. Now, before I leave this side, I do want to clarify that our suspension, brakes, and tire systems will repeat themselves two more times with a little bit of a variance with our suspension. We're gonna add an airbag, um, but pretty much they're identical. We do have a little bit different tread wear on our, our drive tires and our tandem tires. And, and well, when we get back there, we'll, we'll cover that, but just a slight variance. But if you can really master our suspension system, our brake system and our tire system, it's a lot of, that's a lot of points moving forward. All right, so we're done with this. Now we're gonna move move along the side. The side marker lights, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, and of the proper color. The mirrors, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Our stairs, securely mounted, not cracked, not broke, holds the rate of the driver. Our door, opens and closes, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Our door hinges, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, holds the weight of the door. Our weather strips, securely mounted, not cracked, not broke, not worn, torn, or frayed. 10 BC fire extinguisher, is securely mounted, not cracked or broke, or leaking. It's in the green and the pin is in. Pull your side compartment latch, shut your door. In this compartment is where you will find three reflector triangles and any fuses needed for the truck. Go ahead and shut that. Get to the fuel tank. Fuel tank on this particular truck is right here. Our fuel tank is securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not leaking. Our fuel tank cap is securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not leaking. And my fuel tank straps are securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Move along to the side here. And in this area here, I have a little system. I do a U. And I don't leave this area here because I can cover everything from right here and I'll, I will be very thorough with it and show you what I mean by that. So we're going to start with the back of our tractor. All my marker lights and reflectors are securely mounted, not cracked or broke, and of the proper color. Covers me there. I'm going to start moving this way. My air lines, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not worn, torn, or frayed, not leaking. My glad hands, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not leaking. And secured to the trailer. My electrical line is securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not worn, torn, or frayed, and secured into my electrical box. And my airlines and electrical line are not dragging on the catwalk. Notice I'm moving here. I'm going to finish our U. Our bulkhead, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. All rivets are present, no bulges to indicate a shift in the load. And my clearance lights at top are securely mounted, not cracked, not broke, and of the proper color. That completes our U. We started here, came through finished here now from right here we're going to hit all the parts we need move right on out and be where we was at up front so start with our steps and catwalk securely mounted not cracked not broke free of debris truck frame securely mounted not cracked or broke cross member securely mounted not cracked or broke 
Right back here is our torque arm, so curly mount and I cracked or broke. And this is our drive shaft, so curly mount and I cracked or broke or twisted. All right, from that point there, got all the good meats and potatoes out of the way, we're gonna go right back to our suspension, our brake system and tire system, and it's gonna move right on out. So we'll start with our suspension. The spring mounts, the front and back, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Right here is our leaf spring, securely mounted, not cracked, not broke, not shifted. Right behind that is our U-bolt, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Right behind that is our shock absorber mounts, top and bottom, securely mounted, not cracked, not broke. And our shock absorber, securely mounted, not cracked, not broke, not leaking. I'll move around so we can get the air bag. It was. Last but not least on our suspension over here is our airbag. Airbag mount securely, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. And our airbag itself securely mounted, not cracked, not broke, not leaking. That's our suspension. From our suspension, from right here, again, we're gonna move right into our brake system. Here goes our brake holes, right here. Securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not worn, torn or frayed, not leaking. Right down into our brake chamber. Securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not leaking. Right behind that is our slack adjuster push rod, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, no more than an inch of play when the wheels are chalked and the brakes are released. And right behind our tire, just like in the front, is our brake drum and linings. Both are securely mounted, not cracked or broke, no excessive wear in their linings, and free of grease and oil. And that's moving us right on out to our butt space. We have three inches of butt space. Our rims are touching and free of debris. Right on out to the top of our tire. This is a drive tire and it's evenly worn, no less than two thirty seconds of tread wear in all major grooves. Sidewall, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Rims, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, no illegal welds. All my lug nuts are present, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, no rust trails or shiny metals to indicate a loose lug nut. This is an axle seal, securely mounted, not cracked, not broke, not leaking. And we finish with our valve stem, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, not leaking. And this is where I would use a tire gauge to check tire pressure to manufacturer specifications. Before I move any further, I completed this axle. I'm gonna let them know I would do this axle the same way I did that one, and that's complete. Now what I'll do from here is I'll bend down and start on our apron. Our apron is securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Our skid plate or fifth wheel is securely mounted, not cracked or broke, and there's no daylight between the two. Right on down to my sliding fifth wheel, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. My platform, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. And my platform mounting bolts are securely mounted, not cracked or broke. And my fifth wheel release arm is securely mounted, not cracked or broke, and in the locked position. Okay. Come back here. Bend down. And I'll finish my fifth wheel with my locking jaws and my kingpin are both securely mounted, not cracked or broke. And my locking jaws are secured around the shank of my kingpin. That covers my fifth wheel, I'm done with that. Now while I'm right here, all my marker lights and reflectors are securely mounted, not cracked or broke and of the proper color. I'll hit my mud flap, is securely mounted, not cracked or broke. I warrant torn or frayed enough distance between mud flap tire, mud flap and, and landing gear. While I'm right here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my landing gear. There's three parts to it. My landing gear frame, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. My landing gear feet or pads are securely mounted, not cracked, not broke, and raised all the way up. And my landing gear crank handle is securely mounted, not cracked, not broke, and properly stored away for travel. Now we'll cover our trailer before we move on to the back. So I'll start at the top. My trailer, securely mounted, not cracked, not broke. All rivets are present, no bulges to indicate uh, shifting the load. My DOT reflective tape is all present, securely mounted, not cracked or broken of the proper color. My trailer frame is securely mounted, not cracked or broke. And underneath are our cross members, they're all present, and securely mounted, not cracked or broke. All right, now we're gonna move along. Side marker light, securely mounted, not cracked or broken of the proper color. And get back here, we're gonna hit our sliding tandem. Our sliding tandem is securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Our sliding tandem pins are securely mounted, not cracked or broke in the, in, the, in the engaged position. Our sliding tandem release arm or lever is securely mounted, not cracked or broke and in the lock position. Now, I like to go around to the back to see what type of suspension I have. On the trailer, you're gonna have either a spring ride or air ride. And you can find out real easy from back here. You can see it from up there, but it's better from here. So as we're looking back here, 
this is a spring ride trailer and we could tell that because we have leaf springs and spring mounts and u-bolts if it's an air ride we're going to have shock absorber and an airbag this is spring ride so now we know what we got we'll go back up there and cover it again start with our suspension to our brakes to our tire system we did that twice already it doesn't change back here it's the same way spring mounts front and back securely mounted i cracked or broke leaf spring securely mounted and i cracked or broke not shifted right behind that is our u-bolt just like they were up there securely mounted and i cracked or broke one addition right here is our torque arm securely mounted and i cracked or broke on the spring ride trailer you will have a torque arm on a air ride you will not right into our brake system those are brake holes securely mounted and i cracked or broke not worn torn or frayed not leaking brake chamber securely mounted not cracked not broke not leaking right behind our brake chamber I'll point to it on this side you can see it better is our slack adjuster push rod securely mounted not cracked or broke no more than an inch of play with the wheel chalk and the brakes release we'll finish up right behind the tire our brake drum and linings both securely mounted not cracked or broke no excessive wear in our linings free of grease and oil we got our three inches of bud space rims are touching free of debris right on out top of our tandem tires are evenly worn no less than two thirty seconds of tread wear sidewall no abrasions bulges or cuts rims securely mounted not cracked or broke no illegal welds all my lug nuts are present securely mounted not cracked or broke no rust trails or shiny metals to indicate a loose lug nut this is a hub seal securely mounted not cracked or broke not leaking and we'll finish with our valve stem securely mounted not cracked or broke not leaking this is where i use a tire gauge to check the tire pressure to manufacturer's specifications again i would do this axle the same way I did this one. Now, if you notice, I call this a hub seal. Starting from the front, that's a hub. Go to the drive tire, that's an axle seal. And we finish with a hub seal. So, hub, axle, hub. Easy to remember. All right, we're, we're good here. Mud flap, securely mounted, not cracking, not broke, not worn, torn, or frayed. Enough distance between our mud flap and tire. Got ourselves an ABS light right here, securely mounted, not cracked, or broken, of the proper color. Side marker lights, securely mounted, not cracked or broke, and of the proper color. Well, to the back of the trailer. Again, I like to work top to bottom, in and out. So we're gonna go. All my marker lights and reflectors are securely mounted, not cracked or broke, and of the proper color. That covers us there. We'll go with our trailer door, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Our, our hinges, securely mounted, not cracked or broke. Our door latch, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, in the lock position. License plate, securely mounted, not cracked, not broke. Legible when it's not hanging. Our ICC bar is securely mounted, not cracked or broke. And I would do this side of the trailer the same way I did that side. At this point, you can ask the examiner to do a light check. You'll go up front, they'll stand back here. You'll hit left indicator, right indicator, brake light, four ways. Then they will walk around to the front. Left indicator, right indicator, high beams, four ways. And then that completes your pre-trip inspection and hopefully 